Well, hello my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Long time, no budget. Today we're gonna be doing my July budget. I know we're already into July, but real talk, it has been such a difficult thing to figure out how I want to do my budgets from now on. Um, I'm still not gonna be showing my income, but I really wanted to move out of my old planner. This was my um, monthly, deluxe monthly, monthly deluxe, I can never remember. Monthly, or deluxe monthly planner. <laughs> um, and this I had for 2019, and to be honest, like I just used one page, so, I just kind of thought it was a waste to get a whole new planner for just a page. Like I could just really do it in a notebook. However, I wanted it in some sort of, oh, sorry about the light, you guys. Um, I wanted it in some sort of planner book, but I just didn't know how I wanted to do that. So after much deliberation and thinking about it, I think this is what I'm gonna do. This is like a little bit of an experiment today. Um, here's what I think I'm gonna do. Let me let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I was getting motivated and I'm like, wait, I need to stop. I need to put the camera up and film. So this is the planner that I'm currently in um, for 2009, the rest of 2019 and 2020. It is the binder. Sorry, I have like lint on my table here. Um, so anyways, uh, so I am using this. If you guys are interested in seeing a little bit more in depth of the binder system, I will link that video up above here. Um, I do use an actual cover in here for reasons. Um, so anyway, we are into July, however, now that it's set up a little bit differently, before the July tab, there is an extra notes page. So like if I go to August, there's a notes page there as well. Same with September. So I think I wanna use this page for my monthly budget. Um, if you haven't seen before, here's kind of, you know, this is just, I don't know, some random things. I think this said like birthdays, but I changed it. Um, and then this is my month so far. And then this is the first week. I'm already into the second week, which I'm not going to share at the moment. Um, but I, I know I'm not being doing any like plan with me videos right now, but I will be doing, my, my goal is to do a monthly flip video for you guys. Um, some of the stuff I do put in here is a little time sensitive and things I can't share just yet, um, as well as some of the privacy things and you know all that good stuff. Anyway, so let's get into the budget. I'm actually gonna take this out because that's like the joy of this thing. And then I'm gonna move this right on over. So yeah, and um, a lot of people have asked me about the binder, how it's holding up, I love it. But to be honest, I don't take my binder or my planners out with me anywhere. So, um, you know, I don't know. So anyway, I have this washi tape that I got from um, Simply Gilded not too long ago. It's really, really pretty with the little clouds and rainbows, which I thought was kind of fitting for summertime. And I got really excited and started putting in some of this stuff. So I was like, wait, I have to stop. Also, I want to see if I have a sticker that says July. I may or may not. I'm not really sure. Um, you know, some of these like Erin Condren sticker books will sometimes have it. Yeah, I don't have it. Well, I'm, they had them in this one, but um, I took them out because that's just who I am. I wish they did more of like the ones that had like the monthly things, you know? I don't know. It's, why am I looking at that one again? Okay, let's, let's keep going. This is the new one. I don't think they have it either. Nope, okay. Here's the teacher one. I don't think the teacher one has it, but no, nope, they just got like Monday, Tuesday. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to double check to see if I had anything like that. So here is how I'm going to set it up. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. So um, if you guys are new to my channel here, before I start, <laughs> which I'm already like five minutes in, but um, my name is Emily. I am a single individual. I don't have any kids. I do, however, have a dog that is 12 and a half. I am single. I live in the greater Minneapolis area. I also work full time. I run a small business as well, which the small business is actually you guys. You guys right there. Um, so I do pay for my cell phone and my internet totally separately than my regular household budget, which is what you're gonna see here today. Again, like I said before, I don't share my income. There are a few YouTubers that do that. I am just not one of them. So 
Anyway, just a little disclaimer. Um, so let me put in my little budget guy right in the center. That's so cute. And I decided to use these cute Coffee Break Planner stickers. Um, I do have a coupon code for 20% off down below if you're interested. And then this little house and these little shopping bags um, are from her shop as well. The cash thing is not, however. That I got at like a local craft store. I think they're like for the brand called Mrs. Grossman's. Um, so yeah, but let's get this party started. All right, and so what I normally like to do is, I'll leave this off to the side. What I normally like to do is write in all my household, write in all of my cash envelopes, and then write in my extras. And I have a few extras this month. Um, since the month has already started, I do know a bunch of exact amounts, so I'll be putting in those as well. So let me lay over some music for you guys as I write some things down, and then we will go over my budget in just a moment. So cue the music. Budget is done, y'all. So I will go over this with you guys real quick and just explain a little bit more um, things I get frequently asked or like how I actually do my cash envelopes and things like that. So as for the household, I break it up into household cash extras and then I usually just put the total amount right over here. So household is just anything that comes in that's either like an automatic withdrawal or something that I actually get like a paper bill and have to like manually send it through my bank or so something like that. So anyway, my mortgage is $467.09. I get asked every time in the budget videos why it's so low. I will link up my mortgage details. I believe it goes right there. Um, I will leave that up in a card for you guys if you'd like to watch. Um, I did put half down on my house, so that kind of explains that. Um, however, my HOA, I do live in a townhome um, complex, so it's $158 a month. My gas is an estimate of $47. Culligan, I do have a water softening unit here. The water softener, I'm sure if you guys have <laughs> been with me in these videos, you're probably sick of me talking about this stupid water softener. But anyway, it is $32.81 a month. I do rent it. Um, the previous owner had to replace the um, water softening unit, I believe twice. So it's just not the greatest water where I live, unfortunately. Um, my electric bill is an estimate at $80. It does go up a little bit more in the summer because I am running the AC. My garbage and recycling is $17.85 per month. My water, um, this is like the actual bill this month is $56.90. Normally it's like a range between like $45 to $55. In the summer it tends to be a little bit more because our sprinklers are going. So that's usually why it's a little bit more because they push that uh, expense on to the people that live here. My auto insurance is $95.08 and my Netflix is $13.95 and I just do like the streaming or whatever, like the basic package. So anyway, that gives me a total of $968.68 for all of the fixed expenses. As for my like cash categories, I say that with bunny ears and I'll explain why in just a moment. Um, as for my grocery, um, $300 is about average of what I need to live and whatnot. Dining out, I usually do about $200. I don't normally use it all, but some months I do and some months I don't. So I, I'm a person that doesn't necessarily carry it over. I just like say I had $20 left over, then I'd only get like 180 or whatever, like out of the cash machine, if that makes sense. Um, as for my fuel, about 180, I do drive an hour each way to work. So um, I do have a pretty fuel efficient vehicle. I think I get about like 32, 33 miles per gallon. Um, it's a 2009, so um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so my fuel is about the same every month. Um, however, the fuel I do not take out in cash. I just use my debit card because fuel is fuel. And to be honest, I don't overpay in fuel because you know, you can't, 
I mean, I guess you could splurge in fuel, but I do not. Um, anyway, so, ooh, weird little light going on right there. I got a little sunbeam happening in my budget. Anyway, um, as for extras, I just put these cute little shopping bags. This was not fun to shop for anyways. It wasn't shopping. But um, the DMV, my tabs were due. I have already sent the check-in. I have not um, received my actual, like, car like renewal tabs yet, but they're coming in the mail. Um, I also had some electric work done, which was way more than I budgeted for. I was budgeting that it would be about 250, maybe $300 and ended up being $551.95. So that's the fun things of home ownership. Yay. Um, the electrical work, if you guys are wondering, um, I did have all the fans and a few more light fixtures and some stuff in the garage done. I purchased all of the equipment and then I just paid for their labor. So this was just labor. So anyway, puts my extras over at $602.95. So for the entire month of July, 2019, um, my actual expenses are $2,251.63. Oh, I should mention, and also my grocery grocery budget is also something I use for like shampoo and toothbrush heads and things like that. I just don't use a lot of them just because, I don't know, I think I just don't use a lot of it because I'm the only person that uses it in the household. And like clearly, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are part of a larger family that goes through that stuff all the time and you might have a separate line, line item budget just for like household goods. I just lump it all together because it just makes my life easier. So anyway, I'm really loving how that turned out. Let's put this bad boy back inside of Zip Planner. All right, so it goes before this page. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I hope that, um, oh, let me, let me zoom you out a little bit. Um, I hope that this is like gonna be a good thing for me and kind of get me out of using so many planners. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of you guys really like the monthly deluxe planners um, for this specific purpose, but I don't know. For me, I just don't think it's the right fit anymore. Um, yeah, but I mean, I loved how they had extra pages and things like that. So if you guys really track a lot of stuff, I would highly recommend that. But for me, just a more condensed life, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just really loving this. So anyway, if y'all have any questions, feel free to post them down below. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like. Follow me on all the social medias. Those are down below. And if you're interested in any Aaron Condren products, there is a link down below for y'all as well. So, all right, I am gonna get going. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.